Hi everyone. Hi yes. everyone. Here's the Trademo show with Matthias and Sebastian. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. And right now we're looking at the Euro dollar chart following the non-farm payroll report. Yeah. So if you go into the economic calendar on our website, trademo.com slash economic calendar. Um, the just German switch one. to English, of course. English. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we've just had the non-farm payrolls come out and it showed basically worse numbers than expected. So we have 156,000 new jobs that have been created instead of 180,000 that were expected. Mm -hmm. And that means basically that the, the central bank, the Fed, has pressure to keep the interest rates low. And we can immediately see this in the euro dollar. So mm -hmm. basically... Yeah. The, the euro becoming stronger on the back of these news and then when it couldn't go above 1198 and um, basically be staying below 120 that seemed mm. to have been a signal to many people that there aren't just many people left who want to buy the euro mm. that and if the, you switch yeah. maybe to the hourly chart uh, on the left side mm -hmm. uh, and then you zoom out a little bit then you can see that 11980 is a very very strong uh, resistance. Just zoom out and more and more. So it it's a bit to do. Yeah, and here you can see you can draw a line, a resistance line. At <laughs> Basically, the red line is already the, <laughs> which is my short position. <laughs> That's yeah, and, and the above, line, basically the top of yeah. the current Doji, you can see at one nineteen eighty, there's ah, there a well. very strong okay. resistance. I understand. Yeah, it was tested two several times as a resistance before and and today again. So yeah, yeah. That's impressive. Nice, nice, nice spot it's... to to make a short trade at. Uh, one nineteen yeah, seventy, so but we, we didn't uh, have to. Let's talk about what happened, basically. So yeah. I had a I had a long term short position um, already at one nineteen one, and then uh, or somewhere around there, just a small position, and then um, when we saw this action on the five minute chart, I opened a trade uh, around one nineteen seventy. It was, I think. Yeah, you can you can check in the history. Um, why doesn't yeah, pretty, it here? Pretty close um, to the top spot, oh, because I, I see. <laughs> here, here it shows. Um, 20, I sold 20,000 euro dollar at 119.678. So here. Um, <laughs> pretty good timing. <laughs> and, Impressive. Uh, since then, the market has been thinking, okay, Sebastian. No, um, you you, um, you deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. It's Friday. Let's give you something for the weekend. Um, no, uh, of course this is still a small position. Um, now I'm trading this with four mini lots, so forty thousand euro dollar, and I consider this rather a long term position because I don't see euro dollar at one forty. I rather see it below one twenty. That's why I increased the position when it when the market reacted. So. Um, yeah, aggressively to this news, which hmm. for us we basically see it as a non-event, and we we simply think that at some point the central bank in the U.S. will increase the interest rates, and if the euro becomes too strong, then the European central bank has to do something. And so this is not a game that can go into one direction forever, hmm. but it has and been going into the favor of the euro for a long time. Now. And if you have a look at the chart, then you can see we are yeah, almost before the event. So it's really a non-event. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nothing happens. Yeah, we are where we started before the event. So yeah. if you have done nothing, congratulations, you saved your trading costs. Yes, and, and here you can see <laughs> how important it is to, to close positions before such a big event uh, because yeah. such events, uh, it's, it's not only about the, the movement in the chart, it's only, it's uh, addition to this is the spread. The spread has been written, widened for this time and yeah, it, it can yeah. be very painful. Yeah, basically what you have to keep in mind is that if you are working with a relatively tight stop loss and you aren't having a long-term position like myself here, then this is the type of event that then can kick you out of your trade. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want to avoid. So 
basically then it's better to close it before um, or if you have a long-term conviction then to react to the new information and um, consider if you want to close your position afterwards but what you cannot do is work with a closed stop loss and go into this event hmm. that's simply the option and, that doesn't work but in this case maybe you have slippage and you don't get your stop loss so yeah maybe your your loss is, is slightly bigger than expected so please bear this in mind yeah and yeah um, for me here, what do we have here now? Basically, before the event, it was minus 26 euros for me. Now it's 124 euros of profit for the day. Which you can Again, see. a nice dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I can take out my wife for dinner. But um, yeah, no, this here takes some time to... This is not in real time, this one. But yeah, mm -hmm. um, 152, 157. Oh. It's going in my direction. <laughs> 170. <laughs> Whoa! It's going to be a big dinner. Sylvia, you can, I know you've been waiting for this moment. No, ah, no dinner anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I'm going to watch the football match tonight. Uh, Denmark, Sweden, Denmark, Poland. Uh, we have two tickets for the match. And um, yeah, let's see if there will be a dinner afterwards or not. Or oh, maybe but just hot dogs. This is, oh, look, this is gold. I mean, it was kind of an accident for me to click on it, but uh, it reacted in the similar way as your dollar. It's maybe simply because it's denoted in dollars. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But um, so not really a gold news here because this is nothing that gives you safety or um, safety concerns or hopes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. Um, what else? Uh, there's um, one big, big news today. Um, Palo Alto Networks, the cybersecurity company, they have been, um, they have uh, here um, announced their earnings yesterday night, and you see this is a big increase. That's eight point eight percent plus right now, and um, this is um, something that I will watch closely because. Um, there's multiple analyst ratings out now where people are increasing the price targets here to 150, 154, 146, 159. So this could still go up further today, but 8.5%, I personally, I'm probably going to wait for a pullback before I enter here and am I, counting I have to another say, momentum value. Oh, okay. yeah? No, now you, you you switch a chart, but uh, yeah. I have concerned about the volume. Um, if you see the, the, the big up move, um, mm -hmm. it was not supported by the volume. So this is maybe... Ah, but this is all, all after hours, so there's no big volume. No, no, it's a yet. daily chart. Yeah, but this is um, still the, the all of the move happened after hours. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. No, no, I got it. Okay, yeah, no, sorry. No. <laughs> Yeah, but for those of you that don't know what we are talking about, um, basically you can also trade stocks when the stock market is closed. And here on the hourly chart here on the left side, you can see that um, this move here happened at 4 p.m. New York time. And this is basically after the market has closed. So um, this is all after the market has closed when the company mm -hmm. released its, its quarterly results. And since then, it's been going up further. And um, this is where you where it, you might see something like a pullback to 140 again before it continues up again. And this is uh, something where you can then you know get 4% or something like this in an intraday trade if you are doing it correctly. But um, yeah, don't do it with all of your account because uh, it can easily go wrong. And you want to make sure that you can try this 20 times or so with your account before you run into any serious problems. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, that's basically and the... Maybe you want to mention Momo. Yeah, so Momo, <laughs> uh, yesterday it was uh, upgraded by Goldman Sachs to $56 price target. And you see 56 is not even on the chart here. Um, but yesterday what happened is it moved... the On this news, it moved from 34 to... 38 yesterday and 
um, today, most likely it's starting around 39. That's why I shifted my money from uh, Mazer into Momo, because I am, I am trading momentum values currently, and um, Mazer ran out of its momentum yesterday. So you can see that yesterday it... Um, uh, so this is from the day when I was in at Mazer. I still have a small position um, where I'm letting it run, but um, this was the main day where I got my money, and then yesterday it looked like a nice day, but then it and it faded. And today, I think that it won't go and break out above 49, but that it will go down to 47 or even 46 again. And so my money today will be used differently. But that's day trading, that's momentum trading, that's aggressive trading, that's not for everyone. Also, not everybody has the time for this. Um, but at Trademo, you can learn all the different ways to do it. And um, yeah, that's basically where we are there for you. So send us your questions that you have to support at Trademo.com. Follow us at Trademo on Facebook and Twitter. And come to our website, Trademo.com. Sign up to Premium. And for one month, we will actually design a custom curriculum for you out of all of the hundreds of courses that we have on our website from the leading experts. And we make the plan for you, what you should learn. And we, we give you the right tasks to make sure that you've really understood everything and, before you. And now you know the market. person who did for you. So it's me. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah, basically, Matthias is the one who will sit down and based on you personally, you will answer a set of questions, a questionnaire. Um, he will sit down and make your personal curricula. And your dream becomes true, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> we will do our best to help you. Okay, in any case, that's it for today. See you on Monday. Okay, see you. Bye. Have a nice weekend.